Tasmania, the Apple Isle of Australia. Tucked away down south, it's closer to Antarctica than to Darwin. We were in the deep south last week at Port Arthur. This week it's a road trip in the north, starting in the second largest city in the state, Launceston. here at Chile 90.1 Launceston's home of the hottest hits. Taylor is the local presenter. She is joining us for the day. Taylor, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good, very good. Now you've got a couple of places to show us around I town. I do, I do. Are you excited? I am pumped. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay Taylor, our first stop on this road trip. Where are we? We are at the Cataract Gorge. Two minutes drive from the centre of the city. And you're here. Check this out. It's amazing. You should have been here last week because we had, I think it was like 70 mil of rain. It was crazy. But we had the whole entire thing flooded. So it was full all the way. If you can look at the grass, it was just totally full of water. So, so where those kids are playing in the playground now, they would need snorkels they if they were here last week. They would need to be week. swimming, yes. They would need to know how to swim. I'll take it in, but don't look down. I'm on top of the world, eh? Hey. I'm on top of the world, eh? Hey. We've done this for a while now. Playing my dudes to the dirt. I've been waiting this hard, eh? Hey. The whole thing. Tyler, we've made it to the other side. How do you feel? Well, doing okay. The channel was a little scary, but it's in the background now, so we're up. We well, you know what? Yes, what? If you can get across this side, over here you can go rock climbing, hang gliding, and even a bit of abseiling. Wow. So we've got everything here. Taylor, tell us about Seaport. Seaport, what is that to tell? Look at it. No, seriously, here are some beautiful, expensive restaurants. We've got a full marina. We've got the beautiful rowing sheds behind us so we can see in the morning at five o'clock with all the young kids going out on the water. What's a nice waterfront apartments and boats it looks like. I think we should add, it's only two minutes from the centre of the city. Wow. So you can walk up, have a shop, come back, enjoy a nice wine at the restaurant overlooking the water and all the boats. Let's go! Where are we now, Taylor? <laughs> We've made it to the Tamer Valley wetlands. It's wet. It's wet and there's a bit of land and there's some frogs. I think we spotted some frogs we a little did. We spotted some very rare frogs. <laughs> Apparently they weren't out last season. All the snakes ate them. So this season we've got some frogs. Bastard snakes. <laughs> um, and so people, people can do uh, bird watching and all uh, various other little activities on yeah, the Yeah, and there's another thing about this island. What's you that? can walk two kilometres and get to the actual island of the wetlands, and there's meant to be a loose bull. A loose bull. A loose bull. <laughs> well, Taylor, I think that wraps up our tour of Launceston. Thank you so much for being our guide. No, thanks for having me. I think I showed you three hot spots in Lonnie, and it's nice. Fantastic. Now, when people are staying in Launceston, what is the FM radio station that they need to tune to? Chile 90.1, home of the hottest hits. We've travelled northwest to the town of Stanley. It's a small fishing community with some very old political roots. Joseph Lyons was born here in 1879. Who was he, you ask? Well, the first Tasmanian to reach the Prime Minister's Office of Australia. So far, the only one to do so, and he did it in the 1930s. The first telephone transmission from Tasmania to mainland Australia happened from right here in Stanley all the way across the Bass Strait in 1936. Driving back east from Stanley you'll come across Somerset and Burnie, country towns like so many on the mainland, warm, friendly and inviting. Rolling hills, cows and plenty of green open spaces in between. For our second week in Tassie, we spent time at Eagle's Nest Retreat. Three great secluded properties set amongst more rolling hills and scenery I haven't seen anywhere else so far in my travels. Des was our gracious host. He even organised for one of his chefs to cook us up a three-course meal. 
Oh, I'm cooking a feast tonight. I'm doing um, a warm chicken salad and uh, potato and leek soup, all from my garden, all local produce. Um, and then for mains, a couple of Tassie steaks. So the local cows out there, don't look at them while you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> With that, we'll have some roast vegetables. And uh, for dessert, we're going to have apple and berry crumble. That meal was very filling and probably the best we had during our stay in Tassie. Next week we're sticking around the north, I'll show you Sheffield and why it's called the town of murals, plus this incredible Eagle's Nest retreat and a quirky tourist attraction.